Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. <laughs> it's Daily Crumb. Help you along your way. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. And welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wingy Schneebe, Majeki Kwe, your friendly, a freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman. I was Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome all you beautiful divine beings right here too. And how grows it with you? How grows it with you? Happy uh, Good Friday, Good Friday. You celebrate the Easter time of coming around here. Ah, well, I thought this was going to be the weekend with my, my children was be with their fathers, so they were with me last year, weren't on my weekend, so I thought, okay, this is uh, going to be a weekend for myself, and then I get a message from their father saying, oh, it's Easter weekend, we usually split this, we don't usually split this, what usually happened was I took them to my mother's, that was our Easter tradition, we have not had, my children's traditions were taken from them. Because everything got, so, and I, and me too, got caught up in trying to defend my children's mother. Because it didn't seem like there was any others doing that. Not many. Um, but anyways. So he's like, I'll keep them till Saturday and drop them off to you for Sunday and Monday. I'm like, I don't have anything. Easter Bunny wouldn't be coming here. So I'm like, well, just flip them then. So, so they're here. I got my children here. And they'll go back to their father's tomorrow. So then Easter Bunny can come see them at their father's house. Which it's such, so rich with traditions and the holidays and stuff. Like, this is not just a mother that had kids. It was a mother. Before I had children, I was taking parenting programs. I was learning child development. You know, did everything that I could. I took early childhood education at the same time as I had my firstborn and and it was so it was so beautiful because he was able to attend the Georgian College daycare at that time and I could go from class I could go sit and watch him through a two-way mirror so that was very cool so this mom is, is an educated mom I've also taken uh, child psychology I graduated with honors so I have a child psychology diploma with honors I've also taken um, empowered to connect conference um, helping ch children through the trauma and stuff like that, children in foster care and things like that. Um, also helping through helping children through uh, divorce and all that kind of stuff. So this is not just this is what uh, makes me feel a little like because what I'm seeing in my children, these are survival behaviors, the behaviors that are screaming out for help. These are excess. These are, sure, normal behaviors when there is abuse going on. So, anyways. That's that's a, a, a big thing, you know? So everything, everything I've done, it's not just been from my own mind. It's, you know, educated. Where are they in their development? And as they're unique beings as well, right? Isn't it? We're not all textbook. Of course, we can learn about our bodies and everything like that. You know, human bodies and all that kind of like textbook. There is an average, a baseline, whatever, right? Learn that, each individual. Okay, okay, okay. We've got three on the top here, see? And then this one had popped out, and there was two more on the top. We'll see how we go. we got four minutes. Don't take your health for granted. Don't take your body for granted. Do something today that communicates to your body that you desire to care for it. Tomorrow is not promised. Jada Pinkett Smith. Eat at least one full meal today without any technology present. Focus on nourishing your body and the sensations that come up. Right? And how does it feel in your mouth when you're swallowing all that? Whatever. What's the smells? What's the taste? Do we do that? Right? Oh my goodness. I remember commercial like bring your family together and everybody having like tablets or whatever at the... No, I think this technology separates us. It does not bring us together. It separates us. You know, look at the kids sitting beside each other, talking to each other, having a conversation, but neither, none of them open their mouth. It's just on the phone. I don't know. What is what is that for you? So, can you can you uh, set that down? Even just for one meal, do you think you can part with that technology just for one meal? Totally focus on the body. Like we're we're here in a society. I was just saying this 
to my children, it's like, push, 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 push. We're, we're taught not to listen to our body. Oh, you're running out of energy? Take an energy drink. Oh, let's revive it this way. Let's just, don't listen to your body. You just keep pushing it until it burns out. Until it goes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 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 that's not just a humble opinion. Uh, look around. Look around. This is fast paced. Let's instant gratification. Where is the um, good things come to those who wait? Right? We fall over. We don't listen. <laughs> what happens? We got to take that time to listen to our body. In a world constantly trying to make you, tell you to be something else. You know, it's a victory to be yourself. It's a victory to listen to your body and rest your body and take and give care to your body without feeling guilty about it. For one who finds joy within the self, rest satisfied within the self, and whose life is dedicated to self-realization, there remains nothing further for that person to accomplish the Bhagavad Gita, the 3.17. How has your quality of life improved since you began your self-care journey? Reflect on and celebrate your progress. Always those little, little steps. I got out of bed today, you know, woohoo, let's celebrate. What is that? Right? And we do need each other. It isn't like dog eat dog, man, every man for himself, right? No human is an island. We all need each other. None of us gets through this all on our own. Hello. So, and if we think we're doing it all on our own, I keep saying I'm on my own. Like physically, there's not many people here, but there has been. And all throughout my life, those little pockets. And, you know, that was uh, that, that, that was the um, use kind of thing there too. Oh my goodness. It's called um, emotional incest. There's like a surrogate spouse. Oh, that to my mother. Like growing up, ah, she was my best friend, but there was people that was jealous of that and trying to get in between that and whatever, because that happens. People, if you're finding yourself jealous or envious or somebody else, look at you. That's probably in you already. Cultivate that in you. Don't try and bring somebody else down. I'm not saying that you do that, but you know, but we need to do that. Sometimes we might even unconsciously do that because we let that green monster take over. What is that? What is that? I'm told my life people are jealous of me. I'm like, why? I don't see anything, any reason to be jealous of me. Okay? There's no reason. You're everybody's unique divine beings. Okay, I'm just trying to be me. That's all. That's all. You be you. <laughs> Alright? Alright. Self-love is an ocean and your heart is a vessel. Make it full and any excess will spill over into the lives of the people you hold dear. But you must come first because we can't give what we don't have, right? Bo Taplin, recite these words in your heart. I am worthy of all the good things in my life. That's number two. You are worthy of all the good things in your life. You are worthy of good things in your life, right? Do we keep going, no, no, I'm punishing myself, so I don't deserve this, I don't deserve this, I was horrible, I made some mistakes, whatever. You're worthy of good things in your life. Okay, we're going over, over again, we got 819 I got there. Woohoo, I like to keep them at 10 minutes. There's a pile that flipped in there, so do this. Woohoo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? Okay. One, one path just flipped over there. That's another path. There's a sharing of quickening. Made an appearance here. One totem. One totem. Going down that whirling rainbow path with us. It's a whirling rainbow path. There we go. Okay. Path on the bottom and a path on the top. Ah, uh, painted face. It's that self-expression. This is what we were talking about. Right? What is it that you want the world to see? Right? Are, are, are we doing it because of the world? No. We're just being us and adding in. Right, so we're not doing our work and others have to do more work for us and that's not fair so let's look at that there's things going on behind the scenes too that we don't know so we need to open up open up to that i don't know what is that open up to the miracle right that talking stick everybody's got viewpoints and options right we can trick ourselves if we keep trying to oh think that somebody knows better for us than we do for ourselves we need to tap in yes we can listen to other people's advice so it's not just about checking in maybe you need your own advice but when others are giving that going yeah okay yeah, that makes sense. And we're, when we're listening to other stories, you know, how are we extracting what we need from that? That, hey, maybe there's a viewpoint or option I didn't see just from listening and hearing that other person's story. That's how I've always learned best. Not by people telling me what I need, by listening to their stories and how they've overcome things. Right? And I recognize 
some of myself in there, some of the similar situations, go, oh, oh, maybe I should try that. It helps give a different perspective. So this is great. This is why we need each other and we're reflecting to each other. So what is that? Unity and wholeness achieved. We need to come together. We need to be in divine, you all, too. That way we're not looking for the outside to complete us because we're already complete and whole. But we complement each other. It's complement our energies, right? Let's be protective of each other, not possessive of each other. I don't know. What is that? What is that? I'll say it to you. Nine, ten. Beautiful. Wholeness achieved. We come all together. We see that we love ourselves, not above or below others, but hey, that we're just as important, too, because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Right? We cannot be helpful to anybody when we're on the floor. I don't know. What does that all say to you? And how has your life improved since you've been doing your self-care? Have you been doing it? Mm -hmm. It's up to you. 100% your responsibility. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through and everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you just to be you. Fully, holy, and true. Don't let this world miss out and all it's you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Like this. Another wonderful, blessed day. Love you all. Mwah. Thank you. Oh, it looks like it's going to go to 11-11. All right.